Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you for this really cute little houndstooth crochet baby dress. Um, I made this for my grandbaby Kate. It's about a 12 month size, nine to 12 month size, but you can make this uh, smaller or larger just simply by uh, D depending on what row you can join for the armholes. It'll make it a little bit smaller and or larger if you wanna just keep going with the increase. So it's pretty flexible. Um, as always, my recommendation, since I'm only making one, uh, is you know have a little dress on hand of the size you need, and that way you can just increase to the size of the dress and get the length and you're good to go. I, I do that a lot with my crochet projects is just, just go to the Goodwill and pick up some dresses in different sizes. Super easy finish. I just, I just did ties so this will be the back of the dress so we don't have to mess with buttons or anything. We are just done, 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 done with a little close. Uh, you don't even have to work armholes on this, uh, sleeves on this dress. It's just naturally is a little cap sleeve dress. I put a little bit of a ruffle on the bottom with, and I think that turned out really cute. So other things that you will need is uh, have four stitch markers on hand. That's always helpful. I am using a G four millimeter hook uh, because I'm using a four, uh, sorry, a three weight Bernat Baby Cotton. This is a cotton acrylic. I really, really enjoy using it. Um, I'm gonna do it in two different colors today, the dark pink and the light pink. Uh, this one's called Fuchsia, and I think this is Petal. Yeah, Petal is the lighter pink. But you can do it in any, any contrasting color and you get this look. Another thing, to note is that one side would be darker and one side turns out lighter. You can choose afterwards. It's kind of, you know, a reversible dress. It actually could be either way. So you choose. This is just the back where the joins are. So anyway, super cute, super easy. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, what you need to do is chain 57 chains. And then we are going to mark chain number 11, chain number 19, then count over, and this will be number 38, and this will be 47. So essentially, you will have, this will be marked on the 10th, there's 10 chains right here. There's 11 chains on this side, but that's because one of these chains is going to be a turning chain. And then we have 9, 18, and 9. But basically, if you could get 57 chains, mark stitch number 11, 19, 38, and 47, you're good to go. So let's begin in the second chain from the hook with a single crochet. We're going to be doing the griddle stitch, which is simply alternating single crochet and double crochet. So the next stitch, work a double crochet. Single, and double. Keep alternating these stitches all the way to the first marked stitch. Okay. Let's 
So in that marked stitch, that next stitch, we ended on a single, so our next stitch would be a double, but we need to work three stitches into this chain. So we'll go double, single, and double. We'll never break the pattern, the alternating single and double, but for these corner stitches, they will be, you know, we will just alternate in them. Okay, so we ended with a double. Let's begin again. One single into the next stitch, a double crochet into the next stitch. And we will alternate all the way over to the next stitch marker. Okay, so this corner, the last stitch that we ended on was a double crochet. So this corner happens to be single, double, single. So the next stitch would be double. And now let's alternate all the way across to the next stitch marker. And same thing, whatever stitch was the last stitch just before the stitch marker, we wanna alternate and do the opposite and just make sure we're continuing. Always alternating stitches, single, double, single, double. I hope I've explained that clearly. So we ended this row with a double crochet. We have all our little corners. We've worked the three alternating stitches in each corner. This is what we should have here. So now we're ready to introduce the darker color. And this is the fuchsia for me. So just pull through on the last step of the double crochet stitch there. And we're going to chain one and turn. And so this is the griddle stitch pattern. And in griddle stitch, the single crochets are worked into the top of double crochets and double crochets are worked into the top of single crochets from the previous row. Now the other thing we need to do is carry this pink yarn across the row with us so that we have it for the next row because we're going to always be alternating colors it's one row per color so let's start with that single crochet let's just make sure our hook goes underneath the carried yarn this is the carried yarn and we are working over it so we're going to alternate the stitches just like we did before and we're going to work the three alternating stitches into the middle stitch of the three stitches that were worked in the previous row. So I'll get over to that first corner here, alternating. This is a double crochet. I work the single into the top of that. That's going to give us the hound to, hound's tooth look. And so this is my middle stitch. It's a double crochet. This is the middle. And my last stitch was a double. So I'm going to work single, double, single all into that center stitch. Now, if you have a hard time seeing the center stitch, I would encourage you that right after you make it, go ahead and use the stitch marker to mark it so that on the return pass, you know for sure you're working your increase stitches, which means the three stitches that will make the corner 
in the right spot. Okay, so we come out of there and the next stitch is a single, so we're gonna do the double. So the alternating really will just continue to work in your favor as we go here. So continue that around, get your increases in, and then at the end of the row, we'll be pulling through on the last step of the stitch with the lighter color. But I'll, I'll pop back on and show you that much. So this is what round two should look like. And since we've carried the pink along with us, it's right here for us. We can pull through on the last step of the stitch, chain one and turn, and get going. But of course, make sure you're carrying the dark pink along with you on this round. So we have, we start with a single crochet into the top of that last double crochet we made and then keep alternating. So if you noticed, um, every other one kind of is opposite. So like this was double, single, double in this corner and this was single, double, single. Don't worry about that. What is most important is that you're always alternating single and double and then working three of them into the center stitch of the row below in order to do the increases. So I'm going to increase this for, let's see, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 rounds for like the size 12 month si a size. If you want it a little bit shorter, smaller, you would only increase for 10 rounds or eight rounds. Um, I think that is probably about as small as you could go is eight rounds. Any, any smaller, and I don't, I don't think you have enough armhole depth. On our chart, on our website, that is a great indication of size, is to just go ahead and measure the armhole depth. Make sure you have enough before we join for the armholes. That's another great way of sizing while you're crocheting. My other suggestion is to just run to the Goodwill, pick up little dresses in the size that you want to make, and then that way you know for sure that you're crocheting to a the proper size and you can do the length of the dress properly but anyway just just a little tip okay so I'll hop back on after I get all that increase and I'll show you how to join for the armholes and then we'll begin making the skirt all right I have 12 rows it is measuring almost 12 inches across. So this is kind of the shoulders, but it, it will go down. You'll see in the pictures of baby Kate, it's kind of um, the shoulders maybe would be about right here. So another good measurement, uh, like I said, is to make sure you have enough depth in the armholes. Four inches is what I've got here. And um, there we go. So this probably would be more like Honestly, I tried it on her and I'm thinking it's like the 12 to 18 month old size, but still very um, doable for other sizes. Like I said, stop a few rows earlier if you want it just a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is round 13 and we are going to join for the armholes and um, and then the the we're going to also join it and then let me show you right here we'll be joining right here and then switching colors so we don't need to carry the yarn through so let's go ahead start with our single crochet you can leave that dark pink behind All right, so here we are to the corner stitch. 
of the three of that increase and here we are over here so find the middle stitch here and we're just going to be crocheting into this one and this one and that will bring our and uh, the work together and form the armhole so how i'm going to do that though is just even though it calls for a double crochet in this one this is would be the next thing i'm just going to single crochet and then also single crochet into the next one and we'll still be okay we'll be able to maintain the pattern because on the next round i'll show you how so don't worry about it okay but then continue with the pattern of working a double crochet into the top of the single crochet. And then work your, your alternating stitches all the way around the, let's see, going to be the front of the little dress. Work it all the way to this corner and we'll do the exact same thing. Okay, so the same thing. I'm up to that middle stitch. Even though it's really calling for a double crochet, we're just going to work single and we're going to work a single over here. And then that way, when we work the next round, we've got even stitches right there. Here's what we've got so far is the little, the top half, the bodice of the dress right there. Now we are going to join this round and pull through with a new color. So let's get our hot pink ready to go. Of course it's over on this side, but we're going to make this work. So go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that single crochet. Leave your light pink behind. Chain one and turn. Now we want this next section to ruffle. You know, we want to add some ruffle here. So what we're going to do is in every stitch, we will work two stitches. So we'll do a single and a double. Single and a double. single and a double so we're working both stitches into the top of one so I guess this is the one time we're breaking that little rule and we're getting this the skirt so that it will be a little bit roughly And that's why I said when we did though that little adjustment for joining for the armholes, we're still going to be okay. We'll be able to maintain this houndstooth looking pattern because it will all come back together on the next row. So single and double. I'm just going to work my way over to the armpit to to show you, I'm just gonna work two of the single and double into the top of each single crochet. It will still be okay.
So here's the two single crochets that we did. Just pretend that's all right together and nothing changes. We're just working single and double. Two stitches per stitch. Okay, so just finish that around and then uh, I'll show you how to join and turn and then you're good to go to make that skirt for a while. Okay, I've made my way all the way back around. So I'm going to work these final stitches. Single and a double. And here's our last stitch. So I'll work single and a double. Now I will reach down and pull up, pull around, whatever you want to do. We're going to insert our hook in two. Let's see, we ended with the double. We need to join into the top of that first single crochet right there. So it's kind of hidden. We'll pull up a loop, chain one, and turn. And now we're just going to, our first stitch should be a double crochet. So we work single crochet, and then we start our pattern again. And since we've alternated those stitches, one into each stitch. We just have set ourselves up to continue the pat the griddle stitch pattern, the alternating, and we'll get back on. And we've added our extra stitches so that we have a little skirt here. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and work one more round and make sure you're clear on how to join the rounds. You know, we're gonna always look for that first single crochet of the round. Um, if you need to mark it, that's another good idea, but generally it's the first stitch that's in the new color. And your last stitch will be right there where it kind of points to, that's where your last double crochet will be. So we're always still alternating the pattern as we go around. Okay, so I'll, I'll jump back on though, and make sure we do that join correctly. Reason why is because you will see you want it to just kind of get disguised. You'll see it just a little bit, but if we're joining last stitch, double crochet, join into the single, and then start with a single, it kind of just really blends in. This is some finishing work we'll do at the end. So like I said, here we are at the end here. Get that pink ready to go. Our last stitch, I can tell I'm working a single and then a double. And then I'll reach down and here's the top of that single crochet, but I've got to get the uh, dark pink ready to go and pull through. That's why we are joining, chaining one, and then turning our work. And we'll begin with a single crochet right into the top of that double crochet. There we go. And we're off and running for the next round. And so see how that just even though we doubled the stitches, it still maintained the look of the pattern. And you'll see as we keep going that it blends in and you're gonna start that little ruffle. So I'm gonna work on the skirt and then you wanna do it. Let's see, let me get you a measurement. like I did 13 and a half inches but of course you are free to make this as long as you want so but 
Then I'll come back and we just do a simple little shell border, three double crochets with a chain, a single crochet in between. And then I went ahead and edged all that. And we do a little tie. So cute. For this next part to do the neck, I'm going to have to apologize that I videotaped this and it videotaped in slow motion. So I do not have good video of this. But what I did was pull up a loop starting right here in the bottom of the back, chain one and single crochet into that space, work one single crochet into each of the end of the row. When you get up here to the corner, chain about six and a half inches, which was for me 30 chains. And then I worked slip stitch into each chain coming all the way back to this corner. Then I continued working one single crochet all the way around the neck come back to this side, work those chains, whatever number it was over here, do the same. For me, it was 30. Slip stitch all the way back down and then finish single crochet down here. I slip stitched into the starting single crochet and then tied off. So I apologize on that part and the same I missed uh, down here, I can at least show you what I'm doing for the skirt is that once you um, chain and turn, just like we, we normally do on a round, the only difference that you're doing is working three double crochets into the single crochets and one single crochet into the top of the double crochet. So it's essentially the same. You're just adding um, double crochets so that you can get this cute little, kind of a little scalloped look. Scallop ruffle, kind of, I'm, it looks like it. So I apologize that that part of my video did not get recorded properly. But anyway, I hope that helps you finish off this easy, easy dress. Cute little houndstooth dress for your little girl. All right, um, please come show us in the Daisy Farm Crafter group. We'd love to see what colors you choose to make your little dress. So thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Hi, hi baby girl. Are you 10 months old, huh? Are you? <laughs> yes. Can we see your cute dress? The back of the dress? <gasps> yeah, let's see. Can we see what your dress looks like? <gasps> oh, so cute. 